Hey guys, it's Cesar here at Ace and Tail. Let's really talk about the grips uh, when it comes to, of course, a right-hander, but also when it comes to a left-hander. So if you guys can see right here, we have the rack and we've separated to eight different bevels. So as we go all the way around, you guys are seeing the grooves of the racket and split up here when it comes to our eight different bevels. So we'll talk about first the Continental Grip. And whenever you're talking about a grip, you're going to talk about the bevels of the racket, but also you're going to talk about the base knuckle, which is going to be the pointer knuckle here, and the heel pad, which is going to be this fatty part of the hand right here. And you're trying to match them up to different numbers. So the first one, like we said, Continental, is going to be a 2-2. Two -two. So as you guys can see right here, my base knuckle to a 2. And my heel pad right over here is going to be right at the two as well. Okay, we shift over just one more bevel. Now we have an Eastern. This is really used for a lot of forehands. Okay, so again, base knuckles here for a three, and the or base knuckle here at three, and then of course my heel pad's also a three. I shift over one more bevel at a four. We're talking about my semi-western grip. And last, you're talking about a five. Okay, this is a western grip. So this is something that's used by some players. Not fully recommended, but we have some players get, get to that extreme. So again, Continental will be a two, Eastern is a three, Semi-Western is a four, and Western is a five. So that's of course for a right-handed player. For a left-handed player, a little bit of the reverse. And now of course, instead of the right, we're gonna, sh we're gonna show you with the left hand. So when we get back to a Continental, so you guys remember it was a two for a right-hander, it's a mirror image. So now we're gonna come here and really get okay, to an eight Okay, base knuckle here, heel pad right under here is going to be, like we said, at an eight. We move over, seven. Okay, you're talking about an eastern forehand. Six, we're gonna talk about a semi-western. And there again is the five again. We're gonna get to a full western right there. So in a recap, eight okay, is going to be your continental. Seven is your eastern. Six is going to be your semi-western. And five is gonna be the western. So something very basic and simple, but just to make sure that we know what grips we're using out there. And later on, we'll talk about what are the par parameters of acceptance, of windows of acceptance, and when to use those different grips. So thanks for watching. We got some basics right there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.